Scorpios welcome back let's see what we have for you Scorpio I'm excited to get into your energy so let's see what we have for you now if this does resonate here on the channel go ahead and thumbs up the video on the right tee. we're gonna pull an energy pull for you tonight and see what we're going to get these energy pulls can be about anything so whatever is it what res whatever resonates with you um that is your message but if it doesn't resonate you guys don't try to make it fit so yeah let's get entwined with your energy holy spirit holy father holy angels what is going on for scorpio what's the energy that needs to be revealed to scorpio the energy for Scorpio. Holy Spirit, Holy Father, Holy Angels of the Divine Light. Thank you. Let's see. Wow. Okay, so, you know, the Page of Swords energy. Wow, we have the High Priestess. We also have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, the Devil. Okay, somebody is definitely playing kid-like energy. This is what I'm seeing around you at the moment, um, Scorpio. This person is definitely immature, but I just feel like this person's energy, um, I feel like they have so much feelings for you, but they just don't know how to interact with you or how to display these feelings that they have for you. This is what I'm seeing here, but I do see communication or conversation happening very soon with you and this person. I also have the magician in reverse. So this person is quite negative. Okay. I'm getting a negative force of energy. I'm getting jealousy for those of you with this page of swords as well. A lot of immaturity don't really know how to communicate when necessary, but I feel like you are definitely coming off as uh, older energy with this person um scorpio and i feel like there's going to be a conversation and it should be a good one with your force of energy so i'm definitely seeing that your intuition is definitely um heightened at the moment and i feel like whatever you are you're feeling you're ex accepting that you're believing that um whatever dreams or visions you're having or whatever spirituality you're in you're really heightening is magnified at this moment no one can tell you anything and i feel like you are open to discussion you're open to hear whatever they have to say about certain situations um this could also be your friends and your family trying to like tell you things and try to make you go this route instead of that route but you're keeping your thoughts to yourself and you're being very quiet about your thoughts when it comes to this person but i feel like when you know the, the thing that you really know here scorpio is that there needs to be a change there needs to be some kind of di like new direction here because you're feeling like this person has been bringing a lot of darkness or um just just been unlucky with this person you know you feel like oh god this cannot be my destiny this cannot be my 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 you know this cannot be fate for for me and this person it has to be something else and this can't be true you know this is what i'm seeing like you're questioning this but i feel like you're keeping this to yourself and i'm also seeing like i said this person is thinking about you i'm seeing some kind of obsession here but i also feel like it's a negative behavior especially with this magician in reverse okay virgo and gemini energy for those of you scorpios that are um with a virgo and a gemini even capricorn is coming up cancer is right here and i'm also getting with the wheel of fortune aquarius um scorpio taurus leo energy tell me more holy spirit all right so we have the king of cups energy we also have the hermit here and we have the ace of pentacles okay so i feel like you have a lot of love for this person but this person is like blocking you to show to like express your love to be safe to feel safe within this connection i feel like this person is like getting like making it really hard for you and then i'm seeing that like they're pushing you away spiritually to connect with them or to get close to them i feel like they're pushing you away there is a a, a separation here scorpio that i'm seeing a lot of you could have been married to this person or have some kind of foundation with this person that's in reverse like it just didn't work out Okay, but I'm seeing a separation here and I'm also seeing an apology for this and I feel like this person is so obsessed 
and they're thinking about you a lot you know you're they're on you're on their mind but they just don't know how to communicate with you this is what i'm feeling here this page of pentacles they also have a lot to give back to you i feel like this person have took a lot from you this person was inconsistent i mean this person was in and out they feel like they could do anything and get away with it and you're just not waiting for this person any longer i feel like what i'm seeing here is like you waited for this person you gave this person the benefit of a doubt and you realize that you know what i there is something else out here for me you know i feel like i need to move on with my life and this is what i'm picking up for you wow this wants to be seen the nine of wands energy for those of you still holding on to each other a lot of trials and tribulations here a lot of experience a lot of history as well but at the same time i'm seeing like you're beaten up you're tired you're drained tell me more okay so you feel stripped hurt heartbroken disappointed this person wasn't there for you you're just like i'm just getting this energy of like you're trying to like tell me like this person abandoned you in some ways and they make you feel bad for moving on or trying to make this decision to better yourself i'm also seeing like you're going to go your separate ways ten of pentacles in reverse like this foundation is just not there anymore you know this is what i'm getting like you're not protecting it like you know it's okay like you're separating you're accepting this and i feel like this person views you as a good energy you know they feel like you have all the queens within one element here which is like their 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 decision that they made right right throughout their years like you're something that they're going to regret because you're the the one that they should have made right um if that makes sense but i'm seeing they're looking at you as the empress here like the right choice that they ever made in their life i'm also getting some kind of manipulation they want to jump back in but you have changed something about your mind have changed okay it seems like your back is turned towards this person. It's like I'm getting like you're finally just, you know, not taking that nonsense anymore. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person is, I'm just getting like this person is not giving you that stability, but they feel like they definitely still need you in some way within in their life. I'm also seeing the five of wands energy where there's a lot of conflict between you and this person here the nine of cups is just letting me know that you guys you know you you have a lot of things that you want to accomplish and you have a lot of things that this, you want this person to him body as well and they're coming to be like or you're realizing that they're not what you want or this person is just not giving you what you want i, f I feel like this person talked to you a lot about you know i can do this i can do this and that and they never did so empty promises here with the nine of cups i'm also seeing like they're not making any moves to make you stable or feel stable or feel secure or feel like the person that they want to be with within this connection gemini aquarius or libra energy is also showing up here i'm also seeing like um there is a lot of instability with friends or family within this connection this could also be at work or you guys met at work or school for example but I feel like there's a lot of shadiness there. But I also feel like this person doesn't regret meeting you or building this this foundation with you. Because I see this is a future energy. Like they still see you as the 1111. They still, they're like, maybe not right now. Maybe, hey, we're going to be, we're going to end up together one day. <laughs> they're really like cocky about that. Uh, yeah on the back of the deck they are willing to yeah in time divine timing is at play here as well look at that you have the chariot you have cancer energy uh, in the future they're definitely thinking that you guys are going to be together um i'm also feeling like they're going to be willing to do whatever it takes to make this work because they're kind of grown up because i'm seeing a full transformation here in the future even though there is a lot of like history with you and this person Hmm. All right, so let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I'm getting um, Sag energy within the Temperance. I'm also getting Scorpio, can Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces within the Well, and I'm also getting Cancer within the Chariot. So this person wants to be successful with you, you know, within a Chariot energy. Sorry, I keep shuffling the deck next to the mic, you guys. I know that's irritating, but I'm also getting Virgo twice. 
I'm getting cancer twice or more than twice. <laughs> All a lot of elements are coming up here. All right, so tell me more. This is just gonna be a short pull tonight. And I realize it's really late. You guys, I had a flat today, okay? I was looking at homes and I had a flat. I couldn't believe it. But we'll see. Whew. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio. Healing. Yeah, divine timing is important here. I feel like there is a lot of time that, I feel like a, like a break is coming up for you and this person, but I feel like within time, you and this person is going to get it back together. Because they're, they're thinking like in the future, like you guys are going to be in each other's lives. So, but I feel like there's a lot of ups and downs with other people that are trying to cause rift between you and them. I'm um, trying to cause problems between you and this connection. There's a lot of fakeness. Fake friends, fake family is coming up here. And they're in the middle. Look at this. In the middle of your, your situation. This could be something that is work related or money related. Um, school related for those of you that are in school. Or some kind of business where you guys are working together. Um, there's someone that's causing issues. All right. Okay. And I see, look at this. Wow. You have the goat energy. So I feel like what I'm seeing right now is definitely you're going to be overcoming. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn or yeah, Capricorn energy within the goat. Let me see. Move this over here. But you're going to overcome your obstacles. I'm seeing determination. Wow, you have a lot of work to do with a bumblebee. A lot of work. They're saying stay focused. Be productive. Don't fall into the trap that they're trying to plot for you. Somebody wants you to fall off, but you have a lot of success coming towards you. I'm also seeing that you're, yeah, you're guided. You're protected. Like you don't need to worry about this. You have your ancestors, your angel guide protecting you. Preparation. Like something is about to change for you as well. And you're getting prepared or some, some force of energy around you is getting prepared. But I feel like you feel the change. Why am I hearing that you feel the change within the season? Like something is about to change for you. Like you're having all these um, moments where you just feel like this beautiful energy and you don't know what it is and you just feel like something new or something beautiful is about to happen because it's a beautiful energy i'm seeing the bat follow your intuition you guys i feel like you're going to have to make a decision very soon and i'm hearing following your intuition you're going to have peace this is what i'm hearing all you have to do is just wait for it wait for it <laughs> Because you are smarter than you appear. Why am I seeing like some of you know that you have this smart um, thing about you? Like you are very intelligent. Like you know a lot of things that people have a hard time, you know, picking up. And you act like you don't know this just because you don't want to do the work. I don't know. That's the energy that I'm seeing. But I just saw this card and I'm like, you are intelligent like you are smart you are wise like you know a lot of things and you rather people think that you don't know it like you know like if you're playing a, like if somebody's playing a sport and they ask you like do you know how to play football you're like no i don't but you do <laughs> that's what i'm getting here like you're just like hiding your skills y'all it's time to like, it's okay to hide your skills, but you just be a little honest, you know, just a little bit. Let them in on it, but I get it. Sometimes you don't want people to know until they know, right? All right, so let's see what we have. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What's the energy? What is the energy for Scorpios? What is the energy for Scorpios, please? is the energy for Scorpios it's 
Yeah, you're going to be okay. I'm seeing you very accomplished within the six card. I'm seeing that you're going to accomplish a lot of materialistic things. I'm also seeing that you're going to be diving into spirituality. All right, but you're going to be winning within the six. This could be the six of wands for you, the six of pentacles for you. Okay, but I feel like you're looking down at your accomplishments here and you're realizing that you're very, you, you have made it. You finally got the life that you always dreamed of. Like that's the energy here. Okay, and there could be a lot of love that's involved with this as well because I'm also seeing like this water, like flowing of water, flowing of love, you know, within this energy. So a lot of you could be dealing with someone that you have a contract with and it's a deep form of connection. I'm seeing that you're moving on. Okay. A lot of you are, and I'm also seeing intuition again. So intuition is coming up twice, you guys. Something to do with follow your heart. Don't let people lead you. You lead them. You know that energy? Be the hunter, not the hunted. Yeah. Okay? You're meant to be a leader, not a follower. All right? That's what I'm getting here. All right? So daydreams and decision. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you still... <sighs> With this energy, it's like I'm, I'm seeing like some good things happening for you. I'm seeing like changes. I'm seeing like success. I'm seeing like your crown. But I'm also seeing like for some of you, there is a seven energy here where you feel like something is holding you back. Like a lot of you are daydreaming or you are like loving your your dreams, your dream life more than your real life, you know? And it's now it's time to make a decision. A lot of you, a lot of you just want to sleep. This is what I'm hearing. Sleep because your sleep or your dreams are just better than your reality. A form of depression. Rejoice. But I feel like you're going to be meeting new people or having friends or support system to kind of get you out of this. Like they're trying to pull you out of your energy and trying to have you go out, celebrate, meet new people. Rejoice. Yeah, somebody's going to reach out to you because I'm seeing a reach out energy. This could be someone that you're separated from with a three here, number three. This could be someone that you met at work. Okay. And they're going to reach out to you. It's going to be someone that hurt, hurt you and you're waiting because you're sitting here. And you're waiting for someone to reach out to you. But I'm seeing a masculine. So this could be an Aries. This could be a boss too. For those of you, someone that you work with, or you got involved with someone that you work with, because I'm seeing spiritual union here, like you got together spiritually, like there's just a connection between you and this person that you can't really understand, but this person makes you better, you make them better. Number two, I'm also feeling like this person is going to give you a choice. This is about shock, your chakra here. Your heart chakra. This is filled with passion and love. This is based on spirituality though, but I just feel like it's a lot of love here. A lot of you are getting this information and you're realizing that you love this person or it's more than what you've ever thought. Like this connection is more than what you ever thought it was supposed to be. And you're realizing this is like you're being awake or shook because I'm seeing your crown chakra being displayed here, having this awakening, this realization, this discovery, being shook, being shocked about certain things. Yeah, look at that. You have your throat chakra here. I'm seeing communication, you guys. Because anytime you have your crown chakra, you have your throat chakra because you're receiving so much information that you're going to need to, th you th you're thinking about it, so you're going to need to speak about it. Um, this could be about a conflict too. There's some kind of conflict. I'm just feeling some kind of conflict or some kind of coldness that took place here. And you want to like resolve this situation. You want to communicate. I'm seeing that you're going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. A lot of you, you have someone that is watching you. 
And it's because of your success, it's because of, you know, your happiness. I'm seeing like this rainbow colors here. I'm seeing like everything is, it's just working the way it should. I feel like a lot of you are about to take a new journey or jump into something new. But someone is from your past that is watching you and I feel like this person is not quite over you yet. I feel like this person is silent because it says suffering in silence, you guys. And you are at a far, there's a distance between you and this person. And they're just wondering, like, what are you doing? Because remember, we have the devil energy. We also have the nine energy, the nine of wands. And that was telling me that this is a connection where you guys have been through a lot. You guys have a lot of history together. But there's a lot of trials and tribulations. There's a lot of drainage. Like, they drained your energy. But yet, this person is just watching you here. Wow. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use another deck. This is from the Seeker Tarot. Okay. This is her deck. The Awakening 1111. And we're going to go ahead and use it today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I will do a review on this deck. The packaging is really cute. And that's how you get to have a deck like this. Um, you have to contact her. Or just go up to our channel and she'll have all the information. But I will try to put everything in the description box. So Holy Spirit, what's going on here for Scorpio? What is the energy for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio? Somebody, look at this. Oh my God. Spying, you guys. Someone is spying. I, I just got into this energy, and here it is. Someone is spying on you. <sighs> this is crazy. Someone is just pondering away and spying. Okay, tell me more. I'm getting surrender. I'm getting pride. This could also be about a marriage or a connection. I'm seeing two rings here. I feel like a lot of you are trying to control the situation because I'm getting the surrender energy. And I feel like with the the divine energy is trying to like let you know to release that so they can take over this situation. A lot of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag energy as fire signs as well coming up on this card. I feel like, you know, it's like you're, it's like it says surrender, but it didn't say trust, but move with caution. So somebody is letting things go or giving someone another, ch another chance, like really just, you know, giving them another chance. But at the same time, you don't really trust them. This might be pressured. I'm getting pressured, you guys. Like somebody might be telling you to give this person another chance. And your intuition is saying that do not trust this person. There's a lot of ego here. I can't tell you everything, but I do care. That's what it says. Someone feel hopeless. Someone feels like this relationship is over. Like they tried everything here, but it's just not going to work out. Hmm. But there is a new beginning. This is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a transformation. It's either this situation is going to get you closer or it's going to get you to move on with your life because I do see a butterfly here in the center of all things. So there is going. this is a lesson. But there is also the, <laughs> the three of wands energy distance between you emotionally or physically. This is about distance too. 
someone is suffering in silence but looking far away and that's being confirmed here but i'm seeing like you're trying to get over this person you're trying to release this energy i'm getting release i'm getting surrender i'm getting releasing this force of energy because you know someone is watching you here someone is eyeing you Wow, this is, could be a third-party situation. It says, I come with drama and third-party problem. This is crazy. This is crazy. <sighs> Trickery. This person lied to you from the very, very start. You have differences. You thought you guys had similar energies. You thought this person was someone that had the same interest as you and you're realizing that this person didn't they did what they did to get involved with you or to get what they needed yep manipulation it says no longer playing your manipulation games i'm done period <laughs> Look at that, all that manipulation, all that mind games, all these paths. Like, look what this person did to your mind. It's crazy. This is what I have for you guys. I hope that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel, and I'll see you guys in your next one in the morning. Bye, guys. Oh, comment down below what video you want me to do for tomorrow because I know I haven't done a no contact. I know I haven't done a single or a 48. So let me know if you want a no contact read, you want a 48 read, or you want a singles read for tomorrow. Let me know in the comment section, and that's the video that I will make. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye.